Good morning, Patrick here from Complete Health. I just wanted to jump on, share a couple of my successes, but also explain some of the reasons why I've got there. So, there's a few of my clients that have been quite interested to hear this. I've never been a runner. I'm going to share this. I've never really been interested in running. My boxing coaches used to try to get me to do this all of the time. However, I personally hit a personal best in running and actually one of my friends who's been a runner pretty much the majority of his life is a little bit hacked off with me because I've broken his personal best considering he's been a runner for years and I've been doing it for about two weeks. But the reason why I was so able to hit those personal bests so quickly is I'm very driven by results. So interestingly, over the last couple of weeks, I've hit a lot of personal bests in a lot of different areas of my life. So I've personally hit the fastest runs I've ever done in the history of my life. I've personally hit the uh, best goals I've hit in the gym in the last probably four to five years, despite the fact that the only equipment I've got is a, a heavy set of dumbbells in my house and a bench. That's it. That's all I've got. But I'm still hitting personal bests. Our practice has been the busiest that it's ever been since I've been working as a chiropractor. I've never had a practice that's ever been so busy. And really, the one thing that all of those areas in my life all have in common is I measure every single one. I measure every single area or measure all of these areas where I'm personally hitting personal bests in my life. Every single one of them has been measured. Running, I use something called Strava, which I'm sure the majority of people that have ever done running before will have used. They use stuff like the Couch to 5K as well. It's essentially just a time where it measures your distance and tells you how far you've gone uh, in the time that you've been running. And for me, I managed to actually go below 20 minutes for a 5K just purely because I could see the number in front of me and that I knew that if I ran that little bit faster, that I would stay under 20 minutes I would stay under 20 minutes if I carried on running at the pace that I was at. However, it would have been much easier for me to give up a lot earlier had I not had those numbers and statistics in front of me. In exactly the same way that in the gym, I have a whiteboard that is attached to the wall. It just simply tells me how many weights and reps I've done for each individual exercise. I've just got a whiteboard. It's just I've tabled it off. I've put tables on there. And all I've done is literally put what my personal best is for a set of a set of 12, a set of eight, a set of six, a set of four. That's it. And that's all I do. And every single time, what I'll do is I'll look at the board or I'll look at my previous thing and I'll go, okay, how will I beat this? Or what do I need to do to beat this? Or how much further do I need to dig in order to hit the next level? And the reality is true that we can do exactly the same things in all areas of our life. If you wanted to improve on your weight and you're struggling with weight, measure the number of calories that you're consuming. If you want to get fitter, measure the times, the weights, the reps, whatever. If you want to actually improve in your pain and your health, then the reality of it is true that with all things, just like with all the things that I've just explained to you, it is much easier to measure. Why? Because if the only measurement we're using is pain, then we're uncertain about what the result is going to be and when we're going to get there. Because pain, as a practitioner and as a person, is not a particularly good measure of whether you're getting better or not. For example, if someone is getting neck and shoulder or back pain and they've got horrendous posture, but their posture is starting to improve, but they still have pain, is that person heading towards their target? Well, the likelihood is if they're getting more flexible and their posture is starting to improve, then the likelihood is then yes, they are getting towards their target. But if they were only using pain as a measure, will they give up before they get there? And this is why that people that actually record and share their results see the fastest improvements in their health or the fastest improvements in their business growth or personal growth or any other areas of their life. So just one thing that I could possibly maybe advise you on if you really want to be improving on a certain area, measure it. But not only measure it, find someone that you can then report those results to so that they grow exponentially. Like I say, simply by just measuring it, I hit a personal best and most of my runners will tell me that I'm a, I'm a, 
because I've just beat all their personal best despite the fact that I've only been running for two weeks. Why? Because I'm pig-headed and I just like to beat myself and I like to beat numbers. <laughs> so Patrick here from Complete Health, like I said, I'm going to continue to try, try keeping records or beating records, uh, but maybe report on some of the records that you're beating or some of the things that you want to improve on and how maybe you can measure them. And if you don't know how, maybe ask us and we'll help you get to those targets. Patrick here from Complete Health and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Take care.